good day Tinkercad friends. I've got a project for you today. I want to make a robot and work on some cool things using the featured shapes and the all shapes. Let's start by creating a new design and just like we always do, let's start by naming it. To robot with our initials, I'm going to put 2018 because I'm going to probably make many of these. It's kind of the way I roll. Under the shapes, I want to switch to the all shapes and then I have searched through and found an amazing one on page four named the customizable rectangular sided polyhedron. Now I am choosing this guy for my robot because I like that I can attach a leg to each side. I can attach arms up here. I can do cool things on his chest. I can put on a cool backpack and I've got a place for a neck. So that's why I like this shape. I'm gonna pick a cooler color to me. You can pick any color you want. And because I'm planning on printing this, I'm going to change the sizes to something I'm willing to do on my printer, which I'm willing to go 30 high for the body section. And I'm only going to go uh, 10 wide for the width. And that's a good body for what I'm trying to build. I'm going to take my little robot and I'm going to grab his cone and lift him up in the air. I'm going to type a, or I'm going to lift it a wackadoodle amount. Let's take that robot body and use the cone to lift it off the ground. I raised it a wackadoodle amount, and I'm going to simply type 25 for how high I really want it to be. And I'm going to give him some legs to stand on. I'm going to do that by hitting the work plane and clicking this side. And then I'm going to go through the list and find something cool to build with. I'm going to go on the chunk 2, and I'm going to build with this metric gear. When you bring the gear out, it'll be larger than you want, and I'm going to pick a different color. When it's larger, I like to hold down shift and grab one corner and shrink it to the size I want. This is going to be like a hip for my little buddy here. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side, simply hitting W so that it's lined up. And I'm going to bring out the gear again. And then I'm going to shrink it. And I don't even care if it's perfect. I am just building this guy to have fun. I am going to keep the colors the same. So let's click on that yellow and get him lined up using the align tool. Simply set my work plane back, click align, click align, and I want them aligned at the same height. And I want them both middle. I don't want this because then they would join, which would be silly. So now my little robot's got hips. Let's find something for legs. I'm gonna use this crazy end lobe for my leg section. When I bring it out, I'm gonna shrink it to the size that I want, raise it to the height so I'm sure it connects. I'm gonna do control D so there's two of them and I'm gonna nudge it to the other side of my awesome robot. Remember, I want you to explore and find cooler pieces. You can change the sizes, but this is just giving you an idea of what you can build use cool tools like a line so that it's all lined up and is looking pretty groovy. I'm going to give them funny feet. I'm going to scroll through my list of things for feet. Let's see if there's something on section three that I can use. Oh yeah, circular trapezoid. Bring that little dude out. These are clown shoe size. I'm going to hold down shift and shrink it all at once so they're more normal size and a little less thick. That's pretty darn nifty. I'm going to do control D, move that little guy over to the other side, and that's when we're happy, group the lower body. I think that's good enough. Could change your colors, but instead I'm going to keep them, and I'm just going to hit group. Notice it'll all turn blue, because that was the first shape, but then I'm going to use the amazing multicolor tool to make them show up with all the colors again. As you use these cool shape generators, I do want to warn you, it gets a little bit harder on the system, and it took a long time for that one to render, but it's so fun exploring them, I want to continue still the same way. So let's add some cool arms. I'm going to go to W, and let's see, I'm on tab 1. I'm going to go to tab 4 and see if there's something I can cool find that I think is cool. I am going to give them armored shoulders with the limpet. There's my W, my work plane, my limpet. Let's bring that little dude out. Uh, so that he stays attached better, I'm going to push him in. And then I'm going to do one on the exact same, or uh, the exact opposite side. Once again, bring the little fella out. 
orbit so I can see and then push them directly in. And then I'm going to take those two pieces and I'm going to align them so they're the same to the original work plane. So with them still grouped on the original work plane, I'm going to put them at the same height. And then I'm also going to align them left and right and nudge them back with the arrow keys. Once again, if I click one, hold shift and click the other, it lets me nudge them along the work plane with the arrow keys. And that's pretty darn sharp. Let's go back to tab three for an arm piece. I'm going to use a donut slice. Uh, this is trouble though. Uh, using any of these work planes for my donut slice are not going to work. So I'm going to just bring the donut out. And let's use it a old-fashioned way by just rotating it 90 degrees. Remember, if you stay closer to the shape, you use the long lines, which makes it easier. I'm going to rotate it this way a little bit. And I'm going to make one arm facing up so that he's waving. Or she. So there's my waving arm. And then I am going to duplicate that nudge it to the other side and it's at the exact height but i'm going to rotate it so it's coming down like it's on a hip and because i just use the arrow keys it is in line that way and pretty easy to just build on let's see if there are cool hands i think i saw cool hand choices back here on number one i can use the gears uh, on number two i think i saw something cool i could use the flower or the star for a hand um, I'm going to put a butterfly back on them real quick. I was going to put a rocket, but you know what? Butterfly wings are just as cool and super simple. This time I'm going to do the alt shift so it shrinks in every direction at the same time. That is really wicked cool. And now I'm going to add a head and neck real quick. I'm going to use from page five a truncated cube for the neck or the head i'm going to put it right on the top of my blue body that i created my truncated cube needs some growth for a change everything else needed to be shrunk this one i'm going to grab the handle and make it larger when i'm happy i'm going to arrange it i could do a line so that it's perfectly aligned but i think with this one i'm just going to nudge it into place I'm going to use these cool little locations for a couple of eyes. I'm going to put a nose right here. Let's see if we can find something cool on page four for a nose. Oh, yeah. I could use the limpet, the star, the S curve. I think I'm going to use the high star. So here's my W. Bring my high star out on that work plane. Once again, so that it's printable, I'm going to push it in a bit. I like that a lot. I'm going to do W for the eyes, and I'm going to go to page three and use the parabolic cone to make an eye. I'm going to grab shift and shrink that down, and here's a neat trick. If you type the number five, it'll shrink right to size five on all of its dimensions. I'm going to move it into place and pick a cool color for my eyeball. I'm going to move to the other side, press W and do that exact same trick again. Once again, hold down shift and shrink some, click the white box, type 5 and press enter, and bam, it goes to the exact size that we were aiming for. And then I can use the arrow keys to just nudge it into place. Make it black as well, and you can see that my cool little robot is looking really awesome. Friends, have a blast with this. See how incredible you can make it. We haven't cut anything out. Uh, there's so many cool things you can do to make yours more awesome than mine. Just make sure you have a blast with it and keep working on your cool skills. If you like this movie at all, my friends, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a new movie from me, HL Mod Tech, hit that notification bell. Have a great day and thanks for watching.